One Europe united at last by the brute force of Soviet military and firepower, probably aided by Russian intelligence of a revived and revitalized ATV. Will this be the new European Union flag? End time Europe after Soviet uproots and take world three horns or star. And then finally all time king or nation submit to the red base. Fulfillment of Bible prophecy. The Euro Soviet superpower will emerge finally. Impossible. Only tomorrow's newspapers can confirm the astounding accuracy of the Holy Bible, God's word predicted almost 2,000 years ago. Revelation chapter 17, verse 12 and 13 reads The ten horns which you saw are ten kings, or European Union kings, who have not yet received a kingdom but they are to receive authority as kings for one hour with a beast, with one shield. And they have one mind, and they will give the power and authority to the beast, or the red czar, or dictator. the Western European nations during the Cold War by strategically locating themselves in Eastern Europe. This is how Red Russia will have the three of the first European Union horns, fulfilling the prophecies of Daniel chapter 7, verses 8, 20, and 24. That an 11 horn destroys three of the first 10 European horns. One European army form all Eurocoms. The New Sunday Times reports on 7 November, Saturday, 1993. France, Germany, and Belgium on Friday inaugurated the Eurocoms, a new military unit of between 35,000 and 40,000 soldiers, here as the nucleus of a future European army and as a supplement to NATO. And the Burning European army is already marching even in our time. The final European Union of pan constitutional monarchy. The original language of the Bible Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek indicate that the ten poles or ten horns are actually monarch, king, or royal crown. If you look at Europe today, the ten sovereign nations of the European Union are Spain, ruled by King John, Carlos, and Queen Sophia, the Netherlands by Queen Wilfred, Luxembourg is ruled by Grand Duke Jean, Belgium by King Baidon, but he has died, and Queen Paula, but succeeded now by his brother, Prince Albert of Leeds. Great Britain is ruled by Queen Elizabeth, and succeeded by Prince Philip. Denmark is ruled by Queen Margaret. Sweden is ruled by King Gustav. There are four more kings to make the European Union exactly ten crowns. The proper successor are Austria, Greece, Bulgaria, Albania, Romania, Montenegro, Yugoslavia, Norway, Leicester, and Monaco. In part, Austria was a sovereign nation. The last monarch advocated in 1918. 
is now a republic with the president Thomas Lester. But Carl von Hesburgh, the last emperor of the Hesburgh dynasty, is waiting. The Greek monarchy was dissolved in 1974. It's at present also a republic. But King Constantine, deposed in 1974, is still alive. Bulgaria is a sovereign nation, eligible and now seeking membership in the European Union. A king, King Simon II, is also waiting. And the king of Albania, King Leka, has returned to the country. And the king of Romania, King Michael, is still waiting to be restored as king. Daniel's vision of a ram and a eagle. The third year of King Belshazzar's reign. I, Daniel, had a vision after the one that had already appeared to me. In my vision, I saw myself in the Sanctuary of Susa, in the province of Elam. In the vision, I was beside the Uri Canal. I look up, and there before me was a ram with two horns, standing beside the canal. The horns were long. One of the horns was longer than the other, but grew up later. I watched the ram as it charged towards the west, and the north, and the south. No animal could stand against him, and no one could rescue from his power. He did as he pleased, and became great. As I was thinking about this, suddenly a goat with a prominent horn between his eyes came from the west, crossing the whole earth without touching the ground, came towards the two horn ram. I was still standing beside the canal and charged at him in great rage. I saw him attack the ram furiously, striking the ram and shattering his two horns. The ram was powerless to stand against him. The gold knocked him to the ground and trampled on him. The none could rescue the ram from his power. The gold became very great, but the at the height of his power, his last horn was broken, and in his place, four prominent horns grew up towards the four winds of heaven. History has accurately fulfilled this vision of the ram and the goat. It is actually the lightning-like conquest of Alexander the Great, who from the west crossing the whole earth, Feet without touching the ground at a very fast speed that is within 10 years only, Alexander the Great's army and navies defeated and brought down the mighty Middle Persian Empire. The prominent horn of the he god is Alexander the Great. He broke off the dual monarchy of Media and Persia under Cyrus the Mede and Cyrus the Persian. He started out against Persia at the age of only 22 from Pella and died in Babylon as emperor of both East and West at the age of 33. Daniel's vision of the four horns and one little horn growing out of the he goat continues. At the height of his power, the large horn was broken off, and his place four prominent horns grew up to the, the four winds of heaven. And now one of them came another horn to start a small, a grew in power to the south, to the east and towards the beautiful land. It grew until it reached the host of the heavens and it threw some of the starry hosts down to the earth and trampled on them. It set itself to be as great as the prince of hosts and took away the sacrifice from him. The place of the sanctuary was brought low. Because of rebellion, the hosts of the saints and the daily sacrifice were given over to